Today, we're going to look at how to import data from Bloomberg into Excel. There are two functions we'll be using. The BDP stands for Bloomberg Data Point, and this will retrieve the most recent or real-time observation for a variable. For example, the most recent stock price. The second Bloomberg function we will look at is BDH. This stands for Bloomberg Data History, and this will retrieve historical values for a variable. For example, historical stock prices. We'll start by examining the BDP function, Bloomberg Data Point. We'll put the cursor in an empty cell and use the import data function to grab our data. So we'll pick the blank area of the spreadsheet. We'll click on Bloomberg in the menu bar, import data, real time. We need to give it a ticker symbol. Let's look at Apple, for example. I'll start typing in their ticker symbol, and Bloomberg will give us a list of the items uh, for Apple, including its bonds. We'll double click on Apple, then click Next. We'd like to find the last price. We'll type in last price and hit the search button. First menu choice here is PX underscore last. We'll double click on that. Next, we need to tell Excel where to put our data. I had the cursor in cell A35 when I started the process, and so it's going to put our output in cell A35. We'll go ahead and click Finish, and there it is. Here's the last price for Apple stock. It simply uses the BDP function. The first parameter is the ticker symbol, and the second parameter is the data item that we want, in this case, the last price. Next, let's have a look at this bond quote. Apple has a bond outstanding, 2.4% coupon rate due on 5-3 of 2023. Let's use the same tool to get the price for this bond. We'll use the real-time price. I'll type in AAPL. And we'll see if we can identify the bond. Here it is right here. We'll double click on the bond. We'll click Next. Tell it we want the last price. We'll double click on Last Price. We'll click Next. Again, since I had the cursor in cell A40, it will place our data in cell A40. And there it is. Here's the price quote for the Apple bond. Next, we'll look at using the import data tool to get historical stock prices. We'll click on an empty section of the spreadsheet, in this case cell A15, and then we'll click on Bloomberg, import data, historical, end of day. We'll start a ticker symbol, AAPL, and we'll double click on Apple Equity. Then we'll click Next, and we'd like to get the last price. We'll double click on Last Price. Click Next. Finally, we need to tell it the dates that we want. In this case, we're going to go from December 31st of 2017 up until the current day, February 5th. We can skip all the parameters on this page, as well as this one. Now we're ready to insert our data. It's going to go into cell A15. So we'll click Finish, and it will grab data for the entire time period specified. Finally, we'll look at how to use the BDH function to gather historical data on some assets. I've given us two ticker symbols here, the first for Apple common stock and the second for an Apple bond. Bloomberg uses an ID which is different from the usual ticker symbol. In this case, we have the ticker symbol followed by US equity. For the bond, we have the company's ticker symbol followed by the coupon rate and the maturity date. We'll move down here. We'd like to get the last price. We can use the find field button. So we'll click on Bloomberg, Find Fields, 
and we'll type in last price and double click on PX last. And we'll do the same for the bond. We want to get the last price. We can simply copy that Bloomberg variable ID over. Okay. The BDH function uses three inputs. The first is the ticker. We have two tickers here, one in column B and one in column C. They're always in row 23, however, so I'll make the 23 uh, an absolute reference. The next is the field that we want. In this case, our field is in row 22. Again, it's not always in column B, so I'll put the dollar sign in front of the 22 so it copies over correctly. And lastly, we need our date. The date is always in column A. It's not always in row 24, however. So I'll put the dollar sign in front of the A so that we lock in that cell reference. That gives us the price for the first day. We can copy that equation down and get the prices for the remaining days. We can also copy the equation to the right. To get the bond quote, and then we can copy the bond quote down for the remaining days. This concludes our look at using BDH to, grab, to gather historical stock price data.